All right, welcome back to the channel. We have a Razor Quad 350 this time. I picked this up on Marketplace for 75 bucks. The batteries didn't work. And these batteries that come with this are lead acid batteries. They're very heavy and they really don't have a lot of power in them. So today we're gonna be upgrading to lithium batteries on Tackle That. So whenever you're choosing to buy one of these, just figure in the price of lithium batteries. It's, it'll be the best all around decision you can make. The batteries are really the heart and soul of these e-bikes or these quads or any of these electric vehicles. That's why even in a Tesla, the battery is the most expensive thing. So when you're talking about replacing batteries, you could replace these lead acid batteries for about 50 bucks. This would have about five amp hours of capacity. Now these are 10 amp hour batteries, but you can only use about half of them before you start damaging these batteries. When it comes to lithium, you could use 100% of the battery, and this is 20 amp hours. So that means this is four times the capacity of this guy, and it's actually a little bit smaller. So that's really awesome. This is gonna cost you about 150 bucks, and this is gonna last a lot longer. So if you're planning on getting a few years out of this with your kids, if you invest in one of these lithium batteries, it will pay for itself. They'll be able to ride a heck of a lot longer, and the battery is gonna last a lot more years. All right, so let's get this battery in this quad. So now we just take all these screws out of the body. There are two in the back, two, four in the sides, and two in the front under the fenders. And you could just lift that up and hold it with a stick. Now, if you want to get this thing completely off, you have to take the handlebars off, but we don't really actually need to do that to get to these batteries. So now that we have access to these batteries, uh, originally it comes with these covers. And these are just decorative co covers. I don't usually put these back on unless you know sometimes if i want some little extra protection on the battery but since these are in the center and very well protected i'm just gonna slap this bad boy in there with some velcro and uh we're gonna call it a day so let's get these batteries out so there is a metal bracket holding these batteries in you just got to take the allen off on each side And we have these connectors, and here's the batteries. So these are two 12 volt batteries run in series, and that's what this connection is. So we don't need any of this now. And we can just pop this guy in there. So let's do that. Oh yeah. Man, it's so small, so lightweight. I don't even think the bracket will work on it anymore. Nope, see there's gonna be too much play in that. So I could uh, bend this bracket down and make it work, but you know what's easier than that? Velcro. So we'll take a piece of Velcro and we'll do a couple of these around the battery and that is gonna hold everything very secure. Two of those, like that. Now, do I want my wires coming out the front? Yeah, because the back is gonna be a little bit dirtier, so we'll have them come out the front. And this is a little stretchy, so you can get that nice and tight. A little stretch, oh, there you go. Just like that. All right, yep, that ain't going anywhere. Now, it came with an adapter, which is pretty cool. 
Now I got this battery on hotpacks.com. They are actual uh, morgue batteries. They're rebranded, but they're awesome. You get them in about four or five days instead of having to wait four or five weeks from China. And they'll have the proper adapters for whatever you're trying to connect to. Now let's see if that's gonna work for this setup. And I don't think it is. So we actually need this kind of connector. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pop these out of this connector and we'll pop them in this connector and it should plug right up. We just have to make sure we keep positive and negative lined up when we put these back in. Otherwise we let out the magic smoke and we don't wanna do that. So the way to do that is you get one of these dental picks or something small and there's a little pin and you actually de-pin these just like that. So you can take these connectors out nice and cleanly and you can put them in a new connector. Or sometimes you have to just change them, uh, you know, swap them. See, there's a lithium battery already in that uh, quad that my son's riding and he's been riding it for days and we haven't even charged it. So big difference between lead acid and lithium. All right, make sure these uh, tabs are up. So, so here we go. I'm gonna pull out the black and I'm gonna put the new black in exactly the same way. Just like that, make sure it's nice and snug. And that way everything is lined up. So let's pull out this red one, just like that. And you can see there's this little tab that I'm pushing down. So I push that tab down and it allows you to slide it right out. We're gonna put this one in that spot and we're gonna make sure this tab is up so it can hook again, just like that. And see, they'll snap in and they're not going anywhere. And these are nice thick wires. So now we should be able to connect. Actually, since that has the spark, uh, anti-spark connector on there, I'm gonna connect this side up first. And this has positive and negative. Let me take a picture and I'll show you guys. All right, as you can see, we got this connector connected up. This is the factory connector. We'll make sure that's in there and solid. And now we're connected to our battery as well. And this other connector is what we're gonna use for a charge port. And I'll show you how I'll do that in a second. So let's turn her on. Woo, I got green lights. Let's show you the wheels here. Yeah. And now we got to get all this put back together. So let's do that right now. I can't move this, can't move this washer. Perfect. So that's tight enough. Let's tighten up that one last one. Okay. All right. Well, Huxley tightens us up that last nut. Here's what that adapter looks like. So that's going to plug onto the battery. And this is going to come through the body of the bike and we can just plug in the charger there. So what I'm gonna do is actually use this weatherproof cover, and this will be my template. And I'm just gonna draw this right over here where I want the charger to go, right there. And bring it closer. I just wanna make sure there's nothing else blocking. No, nope, it's pretty open underneath there, so. We're gonna put the charger, let's put it right, no, somebody's leg might rub there. So let's just put it right underneath the other one. So we'll take a Sharpie, trace that out. And that's where we have to cut. <laughs> I swear, it's the things that you think is going to take a second to do that takes you the longest. All right, let's put this guy in there. There we go. And that's what we're talking about. 
All right, so weatherproof covering and our charge port. Let's put two screws in there and we'll be good to go. All right, let's put these two small screws in here and a little elbow grease to get it through the plastic. I could pre-drill these, but you know, I like doing it the difficult way. There we go. Perfect. Let's get this one in there. Boom, we got two screws in. <laughs> and our weatherproof cover. All right. And let's get our charger and get her charging up. Oh, the other thing we have to do is connect the other end of that charge cable that we just ran to the battery, which is right there. And we are connected. Here's our charger. We got the green light. And hopefully she turns red when we plug this in. Hey, there we go. So we are charging. Are you ready to test it? It's gonna be a little bit faster. So this, Huxley, this is gonna be two more volts. So say about 10% faster, and it's gonna last four times longer. How about that? That's a long time. That's a long time. All right, give it a test. Yeah, here we go. It's a little bit faster. Awesome. All right, let's see it go. Alright, so that's it for this video. We upgraded this Quad 350 to lithium technology, the latest and greatest. We'll have a lot more fun now, right Huxley? Alright, so like and subscribe. We'll have plenty more videos like this. Catch you guys on the next one.